Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. We are taking on a link to the past. We're in the Eastern Palace, as we were encouraged to pursue by Sahasrala. I don't quite remember where anything is, so I'm just gonna trial and error my way, bumble through this one. Maybe tinder it if I'm getting bored. So we'll see how this goes. This episode is probably going to be just this mission. I foresee that kind of being the dynamic, the way that I'm going to approach this series, is I will do some overworld stuff in an episode, then I will do a dungeon. I don't know if there's an equitable amount of those things in that order. Whoa. Oh, look at these big old balls. All right. There we go. Made it past the gigantic balls. Hopefully this goes well. Hopefully you're all doing well. If you haven't had a chance to yet, please go ahead and continue to like the videos. Comment on them if you'd like. Subscribe is definitely one of the biggest things. That helps the channel immensely. I actually have some fun things planned coming up that are a bit of a celebration. We did a 50 subscriber celebration. I don't plan to do another one of those anytime soon, but because I can't unless people unsubscribe and then I go back to 50, but that would make me sad, so don't do that, please. Anyway, there are some skeletons in here, I remember. Where are they? There they are. Probably shouldn't have used the pots to do nothing. The people who made this game are like, all right, we're gonna give them pots and they're gonna use these to kill the baddies. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw them wherever. But I did get some supplies, very nice. This is one of the three opening dungeons of the game. I don't remember where the other two are. I know that this one is where it is. But we have a message from Sahasrla. <laughs> D-Mike, it is I. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Mm, I wonder what that could be. Shoot, I have no idea. I can't believe what it is. I'm not... I'm not sure. But as you can see, there's a large chest there, and you know how much I love those. But we cannot access it in this game. The large key that you get from the dungeon opens the big chest, which usually has the dungeon item in it, or something else crazy cool. But as many times as I've seen this, oh, I should have grabbed that. As many times as I've seen this game be played, it's astounding to me how my muscle memory is just non-existent. But I'm also trying to be fair and, you know, I don't want to cheat or anything. Will you? I'm gonna need you to quit it. But uh, speaking of telepathy, it was a while ago where I was having lunch. I was working and I was having lunch, working D mic. I can't believe that. And uh, I was not in my usual workplace. I was working off-site. Can you believe it? People are allowed to do that now. And uh, the future is now. And I was talking to a gentleman who was writing what I believe is some sort of a term paper or some sort of an article. I don't know. I am not a writer. I know that writing is, ex is a thing that exists, and I do it sometimes when I like to doodle on napkins. But I don't know if that counts. But he was very interested in talking to me which was a very one-sided conversation because I don't like to talk to people in public that I don't know. I mean, I don't like to talk to people, period, but definitely not in public, especially when I'm eating. So that was a, uh, an experience. I think this might be the big key. It is. Oh yeah. You need a big old hole for that big old key. So you can go back the way that you came, but I'm actually just gonna go, oh, and we're trapped. Okay, great. I don't think those can be hit by a boomerang, but something can be hit by a boomerang. All right. Probably not gonna 100% these dungeons if I don't need to. Just trying to get, trying to get by. Isn't that kind of how life works? We're all just trying to get by. But yeah, he was trying to tell me that there was somebody that he knew, welcome to the bow, that uh, had a microphone and an antenna, a very high powered microphone and antenna, who was far away from the dining establishment we were in and was controlling his brain by sending him telepathic signals or 
radio frequencies or something something way out there so if, if it sounds crazy viewers it's because it sounded crazy to me too so you know and you might think to yourself well d mike didn't that ruin your lunch you don't like to talk to people when you're trying to eat and you know it might have thrown you off no this is the one time where i was incredibly inquisitive and oh i need a key oh i bet i have to kill these boys how do i nope stop how do i get to, nope how do i get to my items <laughs> That's not, okay. What's the item button? Oh, I'm wasting them. Oh, it's start. I'm a, I'm a dummy. All right. I bet if I kill one of these boys, this will uh, give me a, uh, a key. Ooh, these guys are painful. Yeah, he was trying to tell me that he could use it to, uh, or he, the person he was with was using it to control his brain or something like that. And I was like, okay, um, this sounds wild and crazy. So it definitely made me very excited to hear his story because of how wild it was. Oof, I'm very close to dying. Can I just get you to come with me? I listened to him the entire time I ate and I was asking him questions because I thought he might try to murder me. Which, you know, that happens sometimes. Alright, please don't have hearts in these. Please don't have hearts in these. Oh no. Oof, there we go. Alright. Alright, we got a little switch. No, no, no. Oh, and I got that heart all for nothing. Can I just very carefully murder these dudes? All right. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming hot. There's two at a time. No. All right, he's always feisty. You can't guess what we're going to need to complete this dungeon. It's a certain item that we've been getting a lot of. But we're doing fine so far. Ooh, this room. I don't remember. We've got to hit one of these. Boom. Speed running strats. Okay. So we have two pots. Plenty of pot to share. With these Scala boys. Okay. Arrows for the time being are one of the strongest items in the game, so. Yeah, if you ever have somebody that tries to tell you that they can use um, radio frequencies to control your brain, well. I don't know what to tell you. But they do, because they have the power. It's very strange. He was very confirmed about it. He also was telling me that it was a it was a way that he could use it to convince women to uh fawn over him and i said that sounds like brainwashing and you are insane so but you can't tell insane people they're insane while you're with them because that would be insane so you gotta protect yourselves guys <laughs> always look over your shoulders make sure you're being careful when you're walking back to your car after you eat all right so we're most of the way through this dungeon here's the boss standing in the corner is a good idea you can fire your bow and just kind of spam it. These are most knights. I think they give you more arrows once you run out, maybe. But yeah, this is this is the good way to get them in this kind of a, a formation. Any other cycle is going to be really tough to fight them. Alright, we got the final one. And he's going to try to jump on us. He's a jumpy boy. I, don't, I think you can do this without arrows, but you're going to want to do it with arrows. Wait till it lands. Fire beforehand, preemptively. You could just get away from me, that'd be awesome. Kind of in a bad of a... I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Here we go. Nope. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Okay. I think a spin attack should work. It's usually the cure-all to everything in Zelda, right? As far as I know, it, it's basically the recommendation when in doubt. Spin attack it out. Should be done here in a moment. But yeah, this first dungeon's pretty easy. Not too bad. Hopefully my stories entertained you. He wants to use the radio technology for good to contact people when they're in danger or when they're under some rubble. But he told me that his friend from afar was telling him that he was telling him to squeeze his behind and he uh, was resisting the urge to do so. Okay. So that wasn't too bad, right? First dungeon. Done. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it as a ha ha, Sorella. Two pendants remain. And we're gonna get dipped to blacked out of there. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to him. We'll do a little bit of overworld closure here to finish this up. If you could, if you could just, if you could just, okay, thank you. 
I don't remember where his hut is. Is it down there? Where are you? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, sir, Azula? All right, so... Is this his hut? It looks like it. Yes. Old man hiding out here in the man cave. Hiding from his wife. Oh! You got the pendant of courage, and I will tell you more of the legend. Let's give him an old man voice. Three or four generations ago, an order of, of knights protected the royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the pendant of courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. D Mike, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants. Carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. It's a pair of shoes now. Oh yeah. Boom. Alright, so this is a helpful item sitting in the cave on the east side of, a, of Lake Hylia. That is, a, that is a helpful item. We have a little bit of time here. So that was fun, right? So I do believe we can dash now. <gasps> the Pegasus boots are the ultimate item. If you're going to be speedrunning this game, it's basically the one that you need to get as soon as possible. Apparently he's not very good at running downstairs though. <laughs> now I'm actually going to head back to Kakariko Village because I think I forgot to grab a heart piece. Which makes me feel like a big old ding dong. I'm such a ding dong. All right, so let's go back and see if we can make it there with muscle memory only, no maps. There's the sanctuary. The soldier boys. You garden it. And we're almost back. There's the fortune tailor's house. Is it south? I forget. Okay. So I must... I I forgot something. And I don't remember if it is in here. But... I didn't... I didn't collect one of them somewhere. There's a bombable wall and I didn't do it. Or I did and I didn't go all the way through. Is it this? No, I got this one. Well, this is free money, so we'll grab this real quick. Cash money. Money, 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 make my world go round. All right. Some rupees for y'all. I'm just trying to feel accomplished here. I got the one from the game. I got the one from there. The one from the cave that has the... Wait. What's in here? This is the other half of that cave, I think, on the bottom side. Is there a bombable wall up there? It looks like there is. Hmm. Okay. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, I was supposed to get this long ago, but one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do eventually at some point in this game is collect 500, at least 500 rupees. Yes. You saw me coming in this cave and you're like, D-Mike, no, there's a treasure in there, D-Mike. And I totally forgot about it. But we are getting a ton of money. There it is. Yes. So that was four of four. When you get four, your reward. Another heart container. So we have six of those bad boys now. I don't know how many are in the game total. I think it's like 20 or maybe 18, some round number. Okay. Well, that feels pretty good. I want to go ahead and enjoy this music for a moment, but I want to check my map. Nope, that's not map. Nope, that's not. That's not map. What's map? Nope, that's bomb. Which one is map? Okay, that is map. All right. So as you can see, we can head north. We can head to the southwest. And then eventually, once we get all the pendants, we're going to head into the Lost Woods to claim the Sword of Masters. The Master Sword. So I think next time, because I want to save the best for last, which is the color red, I believe that is 
uh, I don't know the names of the dungeons in this game, but it's a dungeon that you do stuff. And we will do that. Am I even going the right way to get out of here? Uh, maybe not. Hold on. Let's head south. That would make sense. Yes. And uh, yeah, we'll do that next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been A Link to the Past on Super Nintendo Sundays. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.